The Crucible by Arthur Miller. The play was written in 1952 about the witch trials in colonial Salem and is a thinly disguised evocation of the witch hunt atmosphere of America in the 1950s. Today, it is a recognized classic of the American theater. The cast, in order of appearance, is Reverend Paris, Michael York, Tituba, Judy Ann Elder, Abigail Williams, Madeline Smith, Susanna Walcott, Anne Hearn, Anne Putnam, Marion Mercer, Thomas Putnam, Ed Begley Jr., Mercy Lewis, Irina Ranga, Mary Warren, Carol Kane, Betty Paris, Anna Sophie Lowenberg, John Proctor, Stacy Keach, Giles Corey, Hector Elizondo, Rebecca Nurse, Georgia Brown, Reverend Hale, Richard Dreyfus, Elizabeth Proctor, Fanula Flanagan, Francis Nurse, Joe Spano, Deputy Governor Danforth, Rene Aubergenois, Judge Hathorne, Franklin Seals, Herrick, Jack Coleman. Directed by Martin Jenkins of BBC Radio Drama. The Crucible was first performed in 1952. During the 1950s, a wave of anti-communist witch hunts swept through all areas of American society, and Miller chose to expose the horror of such investigations by retelling the story of the infamous Salem witch trials in Massachusetts in 1692. The Crucible. Out of here! Me Betty now go and die! Out of my sight! Out of my... Oh, God. Oh, me. Oh, God. Betty, child. Dear child, will you wake? Will you open your eyes? Oh, Betty, little one. Uncle, Susanna mm. Walcott's here from Dr. Griggs. Oh, well, let her come. Let her come. Come, Susanna. Reverend, sir. What does the doctor say, child? He bid me come and tell you, Reverend, sir, that he cannot discover no medicine for it in his books. Then he must search on. Aye, sir, he have been searching his books since he left you, sir. But he bid me tell you, you might look to unnatural things for the cause of no, it. No, no. There be no unnatural causes here. Tell him I've, I've sent for the Reverend Hale of Beverly, and Mr. Hale will surely confirm that. Let him look to medicine and put out all thought of unnatural causes here. There be none. Aye, sir. He bid me tell you. Speak nothing of it in the village, Susanna. Go directly home and speak nothing of a natural cause. Aye, sir. I pray for her. God, God, dear. Father, which... Uncle, mm -hmm. the rumour of witchcraft is all about. I think you'd best go down and deny it yourself. The parlour's packed with people, sir. I'll sit with them. And what shall I say to them? <laughs> that my daughter and my niece I discovered... Dancing like heathen in the forest? Uncle, we did dance. Let you tell them I confessed it, and I'll be whipped if I must be. But they're speaking of witchcraft. Betty's not witched. Abigail, I cannot go before the congregation when I know you have not opened with me. What did you do with her in the forest? We did dance, Uncle. And when you leaped out of the bush so suddenly, Betty was frightened, and then she fainted. And there's the whole of it. We Ever never since could midnight, dance. This child is desperate. It must come out. My enemies will bring it out. Let me know what you have done there. Abigail, do you understand that I have many enemies? I have heard of it, Uncle. There is a faction that's sworn to drive me from my pulpit. Do you understand that? I think so, sir. How then, in the midst of such disruption, my own household is discovered to be the very center of some obscene practice. Abominations are done in the forest it and... It was sport, Uncle. You call this sport... Abigail, if you know something that may help the doctor, for God's sake, tell it to me. I saw Tituba waving her arms over the fire when I come on you. Why was she doing that? She always sings her Barbado songs and we dance. I cannot blink what I saw, Abigail, for my enemies will not blink it. I saw a dress 
lying in the grass. A dress? Aye, a dress. And I, I thought I saw someone running naked through the trees. No one was naked, you mistake. I <laughs> saw it! Now, tell me true. Abigail, and I pray you feel the weight of truth upon you. For now, my ministry is at stake. My ministry, and perhaps your cousin's life. Whatever abomination you have done, give me all of it now. For I dare not be taken unaware when I go down before them down there. There's nothing more. I swear it, Uncle. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, Abigail, I've fought here three long years to bend these stiff-necked people to me. Now, just now, when some good respect is rising for me in the parish, you compromise my very character. <laughs> I've given you a home, child. I've put clothes upon your back. Now, give me upright answer. Your name in the town, it is entirely white, is it not? Well, I'm sure it is, sir. There'd be no blush about my name. Abigail, is there any other cause than that you've told me for your being discharged from Goody Proctor's service seven months back? I've heard it said, and uh, I tell you how I heard it, that she comes so rarely to the church this year, for she will not sit so close to something soiled. What signifies that remark? She hates me, Uncle. She must, for I would not be her slave. It's a bitter woman, a lying, cold, and sniveling woman, and I will not work for such a woman. Abigail. My name is good in the village. I will not have it said my name is soiled. Goody Proctor is a gossiping liar. Oh, why, Goody Putnam, Mr. Putnam, come it in. It is a marvel. It is surely a stroke of hell upon you. No, Goody Putnam, it is... How high did your Betty fly? No, 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 she never flew. Why, it's sure she did. Mr. Collins saw her going over Ingersoll's barn and come down light as a bird, he says. Now, look you, Goody Putnam, she never flew. Look you, Anne. Betty's eyes is closed. Why, that's strange. Ours is open. Your roof is sick? I'd not call no. it sick. The devil's touch is heavier than sick. It's death, you know. It's death driving into them, forked and hoofed. Oh, oh pray not. I, um, how does your Ruth ail? Well, she ails as she must. She never waked this morning, but her eyes open and she walks and hears not, sees not, and cannot eat. Her soul is taken, surely. They say you've sent for Reverend Hale of Beverly. Old she has that... indeed, and found a witch in Beverly last year. And let you remember that. Now, Goody Anne, they only thought that were a witch, and I am certain there be no element of witchcraft. No here. witchcraft. Now look, you, Mister. No, no, Thomas. I pray you, leap not to witchcraft. They will howl me out of Salem for such corruption in my house. Anne, tell Mister. Paris what you have done. Reverend Paris. I have laid seven babies unbaptized in the earth. And now, this year, my Ruth, my only... I saw her turning strange. A secret child she has become this year, and shrivels like a, a sucking mouth were pulling on her life, too. And so I thought to send her to your Tichiba. To Tichiba? What, what may oh, Tichiba? Oh, knows how to speak to the dead, Mr. Paris. Oh, goody Anne, it is a formidable sin to conjure up the dead. Oh, I take it on my soul. But who else may surely tell us what person murdered my babies? Oh, woman. They were murdered, Mr. Paris. And mark this proof. Mark it. Last night, my Ruth were ever so close to their little spirits. I know it, sir. For how else is she struck dumb now except some power of darkness would stop her mouth? <laughs> it is a marvelous sign, Mr. Paris. Don't you understand it, sir? There is a murdering witch among us, bound to keep herself in the dark. You cannot blink it more. Then you were conjuring spirits last night, Abigail. Not I, sir. Did you find Ruth? Oh, oh, my poor Betty. <sighs> Abigail, what proper payment for my charity? Now I am undone. You are not undone. And you take hold here. Wait for no one to charge you. Declare it yourself. Uh, but you strike out against the devil and the village will bless you for it. Come down. Speak to them. Pray with them. They're waiting for your word, mister. Surely you'll pray with them. I'll lead them in a psalm, but I... But let you say nothing of witchcraft yet. No, but... I, I will not discuss it. The cause is yet unknown. I've had enough contention since I came. I want no more.
Now listen, Mary, why don't you Lewis? If they be questioning us, tell them we danced. I told my uncle as much already. Why? And what more? He knows Tituba comes at Ruth's sisters to come out of the grave. And what more? He saw you naked. Oh, oh Jesus! But what do we do? The whole country's dark in witchcraft. They'll be calling us witches, Abby. And she means to tell him. Abby, we've got to tell. Witches are hanging error. A hanging like they done in Boston two years ago. We must tell the truth, Abby. You'll only be whipped for dancing and the other things. Oh, we'll be whipped. I never done none of it, Abby. I only love... Oh, you're a great one for looking, aren't you, Mary Warren? What a grand peeping courage you have. Now, Betty, dear, wake up now. It's Abigail. I'll beat you, Betty. My, you seem improving. I talked to your papa and I told him everything, so there's nothing to... Betty, what? My mama! What ails you, Betty? Your mama's dead and buried. I'll slaughter mama left me! Why? I told him everything. He knows now. He knows everything. You drank blood, Abby. You didn't tell him that. Betty, you never say that again. You will never. You did. You did. You drank a charm to kill John Proctor's wife. You drank a charm to kill Goody Proctor. <laughs> You, all of you, we danced, and Tituba conjured Ruth Putnam's dead sisters, and that is all. And mark this, let either of you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, and I will come to you in the black of some terrible night, and I will bring a pointy reckoning that will shudder you. You know I can do it. I saw Indians smash my dear parents' heads on the pillow next to mine, and I have seen some reddish work done at night. And I can make you wish you had never seen the sun go down. Now, Betty, sit up and stop this. It's got to Abby. She's gonna die. It's a sin to conjure. I say shut it, Mary Warren. Shut it. Oh, how's this going home, Mr. Proctor? Be you foolish, Mary Warren. Be you deaf? I forbid you to leave the home, did I not? I, I only come to see the great doings in the world. I'll show you a great deal on your ass one of these days. I'll get you home. My wife is waiting with your work. I I'd best be off, too. I have my roof to watch. Mrs. Putnam would want that. Good morning, Mr. Proctor. <laughs> God. I almost forgot how strong you are, John Proctor. What's this mischief here? The town's mumbling witchcraft. Oh, posh. We were dancing in the woods last night. My uncle leaped in on us. Betty took fright as all. Well. Oh, you're wicked yet, aren't you? <laughs> You'll be clapped in the stocks before you're 20. You come five miles to see a silly girl fly. I know you better than that, John Proctor. I come to see what mischief your uncle's brewing now. Give me a word, John, a soft word. No, no, Abby, that's done with. Put it out of mind. John, I am waiting for you every night. Abby, I never give you hope to wait for me. I have something better than hope, I think. Abby, you put it out of mind. I'll not be coming for you more. You're surely spotting with me. You know me better. I know how you clutched my bag behind your house and sweated like a stallion whenever I come near. Or did I dream that? It's she put me out. You cannot pretend it were you. I saw your face when she put me out. And you loved me then, and you do now. Abby, that's a wild thing to say. A wild thing may say wild things. But not so wild, I think. I have seen you since she put me out. I have seen your nights. I have hardly stepped off my farm this seven months. I have a sense for heat, John. And yours has drawn me to my window. And I've seen you looking up, burning in your loneliness. Do you tell me you've never looked up at my window? I may have looked up. And you must. You are no wintry man. I know you, John. I know you. I cannot sleep for dreaming. I cannot dream, but I wake and walk about the house as though I'd find you coming through some door. Child. Oh, child. You call me child. Abby. Abby, I may think of you softly from time to time, but I will cut off my hand before I'll ever reach for you again. Wipe it out of mine. We never touched Abby. I, but we did. I, but we did not. Oh, I marvel how such a strong man may let such a sickly wife You be. speak nothing of Elizabeth. She is blackening my name in the village. She is telling lies about me. She is a cold, sniveling woman, and you bent her. Huh. Let her turn Do you like Do you look a... for whipping? Huh? I look for John Proctor. 
that took me from my sleep and put knowledge in my heart. I never knew what pretense Salem was. I never knew the lying lessons I was taught by all these Christian women and their covenanted men. And now you bid me tear the light out of my eyes. I will not. I cannot. You loved me, John Proctor. Abby. And whatever sin it is, you love me yet. John, pity me. Pity me. What's she doing? Pity. Girl, Pity. what ails you? Stop that wailing. Betty, what happened? What are you doing to her, Betty? The song, the song. She cannot bear to hear the Lord's name. No, God forbid. Mercy, run to the doctor. Tell him what's happened here. Mark it for a sign. Mark it. That child is a notorious sign of witchcraft afoot, goody nurse. A prodigious sign. Rebecca, Rebecca, nurse, go to her. We're lost. She suddenly cannot bear to hear the Lord's is name. Is she going to fly again? I hear she flies. There's hard sickness here, John's Corey, so please to keep the quiet. And be quiet now. Sorry, sorry. Now, Betty. There, Betty. Child. There. What have you done? What do you make of it, Rebecca? Goody, nurse, will you go to my Ruth and see if you can wake her? I think she'll wake in time. Pray calm yourselves. I have 11 children and I'm 26 times a grandma, and I've seen them all through their silly seasons. And when it come on them, they will run the devil bowleg keeping up with their mischief. Hey, that's the truth of it, Rebecca. This is no silly season, Rebecca. My Ruth is bewildered, Rebecca. She cannot eat. Well, perhaps she's not hungered yet. Mr. Paris, I hope you're not decided to go in search of loose spirits. I've heard promise of that outside. A wide opinions running in the parish that the devil may be among us, and I would satisfy them that they are wrong. Then let you come out and call them wrong. Did you consult the wardens before you called this Reverend Hale to look for devils? He's not coming to look for devils. Then what's he coming for? There'll be children dying in the village, mister. I see none dying. This society will not be a bag to swing around your head, Mr. Potter. Pray calm yourself, John. Mr. Paris, I think you'd best send Reverend Hale back as soon as he come. But, 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 this will he... set us all to arguing again in the society. And we thought to have peace this year. I think we ought to rely on the doctor now and good prayer. Rebecca, the doctor's baffled. If so he is, then let us go to God for the cause of it. There's prodigious danger in the seeking of loose spirits. And I fear it. I fear it. Let us rather blame ourselves. Oh, may we blame ourselves. I am one of nine sons. The Putnam seed have peopled this province. In it I have but one child left out of eight. And now she shrivels. I cannot fathom that. But I must. You think it's God's work that you should never lose a child, nor grandchild either, and I bury all but one. There are wheels within wheels in this village, and fires within fires. When Reverend Hale comes, you will proceed to look for signs of witchcraft, Mr. Perez. You cannot command, Mr. Perez. We vote by name in this society, not by acreage. I never heard you worried so in the society, Mr. Proctor. I do not think I saw you at Sabbath meetings since Snowflake. I have trouble enough without I come five miles to hear him preach only hellfire and bloody damnation. You take it to heart, Mr. Pettis. There are many other who stay away from church these days because you hardly ever mention God anymore. Why, that's a drastic charge. Oh, that's somewhat true. There are many that quail to bring their children. I do not preach for the children, Rebecca. It is not the children who are unmindful of their obligation toward this ministry. My contract provides I be supplied with all my firewood. I'm waiting since November for a stick, and even in November I had to show my frostbitten hands like some London beggar. Well, you are allowed six pounds a year to buy your wood, Mr. Paris. I regard that six pound as part of my salary. I'm paid little enough without I spend six pound on firewood. Sixty plus six for The firewood. salary is sixty-six pounds, Mr. Proctor. I'm not some preaching farmer with a book under my arm. I am a graduate of Harvard College. Aye, and well instructed in arithmetic. <laughs> you are the first minister ever to demand the deed to this house. The last meeting I were at, you spoke so long on deeds and mortgages, I thought it were an auction. I want a mark of confidence, is all. I am your third preacher in seven years. I do not wish to be put out like a cat whenever some majority feels a whim. 
You people seem not to comprehend that a minister is the Lord's man in the parish. A minister is not to be so lightly crossed and contradicted. Aye. There is either obedience or the church will burn like hell is burning. Can you speak one minute without we land in hell again? I am sick of hell. It is not for you to say what is good for you to hear. I may speak my heart, I think. What? Are we Quakers? We are not Quakers here yet, Mr. Proctor. And you may tell that to your followers. My followers? There is a party in this church. I'm not blind. There is a faction and a party. Against you? Against him and all authority. Why, then I must find it and join it. Oh. He does not mean that. He confessed it now. I mean it solemnly, Rebecca. I like not the smell of this authority. You minister. No. You're another kind, John. Clasp his hand. Make your peace. I have a crop to sow and lumber to drag home. A uh, moment, Mr. Proctor. What lumber is that you're dragging, if I may ask My you? lumber? From out my forest by the riverside? Why, we are surely gone wild this year. What anarchy is this? That tract is in my bounds. It's in my bounds, in Mr. Your bounds. Proctor. I bought that tract from Goody Nurse's husband five months ago. He had no right to sell it. It sounds clear in my grandfather's will that all the land between... Your grandfather had a habit of willing land that never belonged to him, if I may say it plain. <laughs> Let's get your lumber home, John. I feel a sudden will to work coming you on. You load one oak of mine and you'll fight to drag it home. <laughs> and we'll win too, Putnam, this fool and I. Come on, John Proctor. I'll have my men on you, Corey. I'll clap a writ on you. Pray you, someone take these books. Mr. Oh. Hale. Oh. oh, it's good to see you again. Oh, my, these books are heavy. Mm. They must be. They are weighted with authority. <laughs> well, you do come prepared. We shall need hard study if it comes to tracking down the old boy. You cannot be Rebecca Nurse. I am, sir. Do you know me? <laughs> it's strange how I know you. But I suppose you look as such a good soul should. We have all heard of your great charities in Beverly. Do you know this gentleman, Mr. Thomas Putnam, and his good wife, Anne? No, Mr. Hale. I not expect such distinguished company, sir. Uh, it does not seem to help us today, Mr. Hale. We look to you to come to our house and save our child. Your child ails, too. Her soul, her soul seems flown away. She sleeps and yet she walks. She cannot eat. She cannot eat. Do you men have afflicted children? No, no, these are farmers. Giles Corey and John Proctor. He don't believe in witches. I never spoke on witches one way or the other. Will you come, Giles? No, 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 John, I think not. I have some few queer questions of my own to ask this fella. I've heard you be a sensible man, Mr. Hale. I hope you leave some of it in Salem. Mr. Hale, will you look at my daughter, sir? She is here. She's tried to leap out the window. We discovered her this morning on the high road, waving our arms, as though she'd fly. Tries to fly. She cannot bear to hear the Lord's name, Mr. Hale. That's a sure sign of witchcraft afloat. No, no, no. Let me instruct you. We cannot look to superstition in this. The devil is precise. The marks of his presence are definite as stone, and I must tell you all that I shall not proceed unless you are prepared to believe me if I should find no bruise of hell upon her. It is agreed, sir. It is agreed. We will abide by your judgment. Good, then. Now, sir, what were your first warning of the strangeness? Why, sir, I discovered my daughter, Betty, Abigail, my niece, and ten or twelve of the other girls dancing in the forest last night. You permit dancing? No, no, it was secret. Mr. Paris slave has knowledge of conjuring, sir. We cannot be sure of that, Goody Ann. I know it, sir. I sent my child. She should learn from Tichaba who murdered her sisters. Goody Ann. You sent a child to conjure up the dead? Let God blame me, not you, not you, Rebecca. I'll not have you judging me anymore. Is it a natural work to lose seven children before they live oh, a day? Oh, seven shh, dead shh. in childbirth. I... Have no fear, no. We shall find the devil out if he has come among us, and I mean to crush him utterly if he has shown his face. Will it hurt the child, sir? I cannot tell. If she is truly in the devil's grip, we may have to rip and tear to get her free. Oh, I think I'll go, then. I'm too old for this. Why, Rebecca, we may open up the boil of all our troubles today. Let us hope for that. I go to God for you, sir. I hope you do not mean we go to Satan here. I wish I knew. I only wish Come, I Mr. knew. Come, Mr. Hale, uh, let's get on. Now, mark me... If the devil is in her, you will witness some frightful wonders in this room, so please do keep your wits about you. Mr. Putnam, stand close mm -hmm. in case she flies. Now, Betty, dear, will you sit up? Can you hear me? I'm John Hale, minister of Beverly. I've come to help you, dear. Do you remember my two little girls in Beverly? 
Betty, answer Mr. Hale, Betty. Does someone afflict you, child? It need not be a woman, mind you, or a man. Perhaps some bird, invisible to others, comes to you. Perhaps a, a, a pig, or a mouse, or, or any beast at all. Is there some figure bids you fly? In nomine domine sabueth sui filique ite ad infernos. Mm. <sighs> Abigail, what sort of dancing were you doing with her in the forest? Why, common dancing is all. I think I ought to say that I... I saw a kettle in the grass oh, where they were dancing. That were only soup. What sort of soup were in this kettle, Why, Abigail? It were beans and lentils, I think. Mr. Paris, you did not notice, did you, any living thing in the kettle? Oh. Uh, a mouse, perhaps, or a spider, a, a frog. I do believe there was some movement oh, in the soup. That jumped in. We never put it in. What jumped in? Why, a, a very little frog jumped oh, frog, in. Frog, Abby. Abigail, it may be your cousin is dying. Did you call the devil last night? I never called him. Tituba. Tituba. She called the devil? Oh, praise be to God. I should like to speak with Tituba. Good Anne, will you bring her up? Aye. How did she call him? I know not. She spoke Barbados. Did you feel any strangeness when she called him? A sudden cold wind, perhaps? A trembling below the ground? I didn't see no devil. Betty, wake up. Betty, Betty. You cannot I... evade me, Abigail. Did your cousin drink any of the brew in that kettle? She never drank it. Did you drink it? No, sir. Did Tituba ask you to drink it? She tried, but I refused. Why are you concealing? Have you sold yourself to Lucifer? I never sold myself. I'm a good girl. I'm a proper girl. She, she made me do it. Tituba made Betty do it. Uh, she makes me drink blood. Blood? My baby's blood. No, you're not chicken blood. I give you chicken blood. Woman, have you enlisted these children for the devil? No, sir. No, I don't talk with no devil. Why can she not wake? Are you silencing this child? I love me, Betty. You have sent your spirit out upon this child, have you not? Are you gathering souls for the devil? She sends her spirit on me in church. She makes me laugh at prayer. She have often laughed at prayer. She comes to me every night to go and drink blood. You beg me to go and just beg me, Mac Charm. Don't lie. She comes to me while I sleep. She's always making me dream corruption. Why you say that, Abby? Sometimes I wake and find myself standing in the open doorway and not a step. Of my body. Oh, I always hear her laughing oh, in my no. sleep. I hear her singing her Barbados no. songs and tempting me. Oh, Mr. Reverend, I Did never. You I want you to wake this child. I have no power on this child, sir. You most certainly when do when you come free with the devil. I don't come back with no devil. You will confess yourself, or I will take you out and whip you to your death. Did you woman must be hanged. She must be taken and hanged. Oh, no, no. Don't hang, Tituba. No. I tell him I don't desire to work for him, sir. The devil? Then you saw him. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, uh. <laughs> now, Tichiba, I know that when we bind ourselves to hell, it is very hard to break with it. We are going to help you tear yourself free. Oh, Mr. Reverend, I do believe somebody else bewitching these children. Who? I don't know, sir, but the devil got him numerous witches. Does he? Tichiba, look into my eyes. Come, look into me. You would be a good Christian woman, would you not, Tichiba? Aye, yes, sir, a good Christian woman. And you love these little children? Oh, yes, sir, I don't desire to have little children. And you children. love God, Tichiba? I love God now with in all God's my being. Name, bless, bless him, glory. bless Open him, yourself, eternal Tichiba. glory. Open bless him, bless God, oh, bless the Lord. Tichiba, when bless the devil comes the Lord. to you, bless does he ever come with another person? Perhaps another person in the village, someone you know? Who came with him? Sarah Good. Did you ever see Sarah Good with him? Or Osborne? Was it man or woman came with him? Man or woman? Was, was woman. What woman? Hmm? A woman, you said. What woman? It was black dark and I could not you see. You could see him. Why could you not see her? Well, they was always talking. They was always running around and carrying on. You mean out of Salem? Salem witches? I believe so. Yes, sir. Tituba, you must have no fear to tell us who they are. Do you understand? We will protect you. The devil can never overcome a minister. You know that, do you not? Oh, I so oh, I do. 
You have confessed yourself to witchcraft, and that speaks a wish to come to heaven's side, and we will bless you for it, Tijuana. Oh, God bless you, Mr. Hale. You are God's instrument put in our hands to discover the devil's agent among us. You are selected, Tijuana. You are chosen to help us cleanse this village. So speak utterly, Tijuana. Turn your back on him and face God. Face God, Tijuana, and God will protect you. Oh, God, protect Tijuana. Who came to you with the devil? To you. Three, four, how many? They was far. They was far. Who? Who? The names, their names. Oh, how many times he bid me kill you, Mr. Paris? Oh. Kill me? He say Mr. Paris must be killed. Mr. Paris no good man. Oh. Mr. Paris mean man and no gentleman. And he bid me rise out of me bed and cut a throat. Oh. But I tell him no. I don't hurt that man. I don't want to kill that man. But he say you walk for me, Tituba, and I'll make you free. I give you a pretty dress to wear and put your way up high in the air and you can fly back to Barbados. And I say, you lie, devil, you lie. And then he come one star me night to me and he say, look, I have white people belong to me. And I look and there was goody good. Oh, Sarah good. Hi, sir. <gasps> And Goody Husband. I knew it. Goody Husband were midwife to me three times. My baby's always shriveled in her hands. Very courage, you must give us all their names. How can you bear to see this child Betty suffering? Look at her, Tituba. Look at her God-given innocence. Her soul is so tender. We must protect her, Tituba. For the devil is out and preying on her like a beast upon the flesh of pure lamb. God will bless you for your help. I want to open myself. I want the light of God. I want the sweet love of Jesus. I danced for the devil. I saw him. He wrote in his book. I go back to Jesus. I kiss his hand. I saw Sarah Good with the devil. I saw Goody Osborne with the devil. I saw Bridget Bishop with the devil. I saw George Jacobs with the devil. I saw Goody Howe with the devil. She speaks Glory to God it is broken. I saw Michael Bellows with the devil. I saw Goody Sibber with the devil. I saw Alice Burroughs with the devil. I saw Goody Hawkins 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 with the devil. I